hey, what should I call this? Is this magic? Or is this wireless electricity? Because as you can see, this tube is not in contact with any wires, but it is still glowing. Well, behind every magic, there is science. So we need to understand what is the science that's involved behind this magic. And in this video, we will exactly do that. So let's jump right into the video and see how is it that this tube is able to glow without coming in contact with any wires. So this is Tesla's coil. It was invented by Tesla in the year 1891. Tesla was one of the most intelligent human beings to have ever been born. And this was one of the most powerful inventions of all time. While there were other scientists who were busy with wireless communication, Tesla was more interested in providing wireless electricity to the world. And he indeed did that through this Tesla coil. Let us try to understand how is it that Tesla's coil provides wireless electricity. So Tesla's coil works on the principle of a transformer. You would have heard the word transformer, right? So the electricity that's coming into your houses is due to the transformer that's right outside your building. A transformer has primary turns or primary windings and secondary turns and secondary windings. By controlling the ratio of the number of turns in the primary and the secondary, I can get a desired output voltage from a given input voltage. So the equation is number of turns in primary divided by number of turns in secondary is equal to voltage across primary by voltage across secondary. So if you rearrange this equation, what you will get is voltage across secondary is equal to number of turns in secondary divided by number of turns in primary into voltage across primary. So if you have to get a very high voltage at the secondary from a small input primary voltage, then what you can do is you can increase the number of turns on the secondary side by a much greater margin than the number of turns on the primary side. That is what is happening in this coil. So if you look at this tower, this tower is nothing but the secondary of the coil. It has so many turns. Whereas if you can look at this, there is just a single or a couple of turnings in the primary here, the one that's covered with the cello tape. So there would be hundreds of turns on the secondary for one or two turns in the primary. So if you can look at the ratio, number of turns in secondary by primary is of the order of hundreds. That is the reason why for a small input voltage, you can get, let's say if you give a voltage of five volts, you can get close to 500 volts on the secondary. This is because of this working principle of a transformer. So what's happening here is because of high number of turns on the secondary, there is a huge voltage at the secondary. And because of this, the nearby air which is surrounding this tower is getting ionized. So if you were thinking that air is a complete insulator of electricity, you were wrong. Air is a conductor, but it can conduct only at extremely high voltages where it can get ionized. So in this case, for such high voltages at the secondary, air surrounding will get ionized. And that is the reason why when I bring this tube close to the tower, it glows because it has a potential difference across its end because the air surrounding is ionized. Tesla's coil until the 20th century was used for a lot of purposes. It was used for medicine, for x-rays, for communication and also for entertainment. But these days Tesla's coil have been replaced by modern machines. Nevertheless, this was the beginning of the world into wireless electricity and thanks to Tesla for this wonderful invention. I hope you found the video informative. Thank you for watching.